you had this uh, this date, the conference opener, Southern Illinois, uh, circled on your calendar, looking forward to it. It's been circled, um, but you know, um, we started the season off with Penn State, and we really, you know, had it in our heads that we wanted to go one and zero every week. Um, so we need to stay focused on the week um, that we were playing. Uh, but now that now, now that it's here, you know, we're all excited. We're all ready to go. They're up at the top of the, the conference, picked to win again. Mm -hmm. They won it last year. Uh, do you view them as that's where we want to be up at the top? Uh, we aspire to be like them in that regard. Can you talk? Oh, about absolutely. That? Um, they're the defending conference championships or conference champions. Like I was telling Eli and uh, Deontay Snow, I was watching film with them yesterday. They're like the L.A. Lakers. You know, if the Lakers came out this season and lost five straight games, you know, they're still the champions and they're the ones with targets on their back. And we, we do want to be like that. We do want to have that respect. Um, the biggest thing is we got to come in this week and you know beat the conference champions. And, and I think after that game, you know, we got to come out and beat the next team. And that's that's what they did last year, and that's what we want to do this year. Curry, it's been pretty vanilla offensively running the football a little bit. Do you expect the playbook to open up a little bit this week because of conference play? Um, maybe a little bit. I think the biggest thing is we're going to take what they give us, um, and that's what we've tried to do every week. Um, the run game has been working well for us. The offensive line has been doing a great job, you know, getting explosion, getting push off the ball, um, giving seams for our running backs who you guys all know that they're great. And um, Our downfield blocking was really good this week. Um, the receivers were blocking, and that's what opened up the big plays. Um, if we have big plays um, in terms of the passing game, if, if that opens up for us, we're definitely going to be ready to take it. Any concern on your part that you really haven't thrown the ball down the field? I mean, um, No, you series? know, we do it during practice. We've done it all summer. Um, I feel like I could throw the ball down the field if we need to. Uh, like I said earlier, if, if they give us that, then we'll take it. Is there a sense of calm there for you, knowing that uh, the opposition may know that you're going to run the football and they still can't stop you? Is that a sense of calm <laughs> for you? Uh, it helps. It does take some pressure off. Um, but we, we want to be a balanced football team. And um, the best way that we can start our offense is, I think, running the ball. Um, we have that senior leadership on the offensive line. But we also have great receivers. And you know what? Some, some people just don't know about them yet. And some people may not know about me yet. Um, but I think we're confident as a group, um, collectively, um, as an offense. We do a great job um, running the ball. And I think people may be surprised when we start passing. What will they find out? about the things that they may not know, you and the receivers? That we can play. We can make big plays. You've seen our running back makes, running backs make plays. You've seen Dom make plays. And there's other guys out there that can make plays. And they, they may just not know about him yet. Kurt, I know he's not your position coach, but you work, I'm sure, some with Coach Longo. Just mm -hmm. how's he been? I know it's only Tuesday, but do you yeah. feel him a little amped up this week? because he's Definitely, only... definitely. Um, me and him have talked about it before. I've talked about Southern Illinois. Um, and he's with us now. He's on our coaching staff. Uh, he's definitely amped up, and we all need to be amped up. Like I said earlier, these, these are the conference champs, um, and the only way, you know, to, to to knock them off is to be the best that we've been so far. Do you talk to him a little bit more this week because he knows their personnel a lot better? Uh, maybe a little bit more. He's you know he's one of my good good friend coaches. I think we, we've talked um, on a daily basis, and I think that you know maybe this week we may talk a little bit more. A couple of the guys have touched on this. Is this an opportunity for Youngstown State this season, this team, to, to make a statement against one of the top teams in the country? I think so, and I think we're all you know, well aware of that. I think that we know these are the conference champs, and we have to give out our best week of practice that we've had so far, even better than we may have had for Penn State, Butler, and, and Central Connecticut State. We know that this is conference play now, and the biggest thing is we have to come out every week mentally prepared and focused, and that's, that's how we're going to get the win. Kurt, are you surprised the way the conference has gone the first three weeks? I mean, some teams that maybe should have won got beat. I mean, Northern Iowa, um, just this past week, Southern Illinois. Um, I'm not too surprised because I, I compare our conference to the SEC or the Big Ten um, in terms of the FBS level. Any given week, anybody can knock anybody off. Maybe we're six or seven weeks in, and, and the team that's maybe in last place can knock off the big team. Um, and, and that doesn't surprise me too much now. Anything else for Kirk? Great. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys.